dai, va bene, va benissimo, va benissimo, va benissimo. Non facciamo nessun commento sulla salsa, va benissimo. Va benissimo. Che ringrazio. Don't wait for me. Hey guys, hope you're doing fine. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. In case you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee Mwango from Kenya in Africa, now here in Nepal. But today I'm in one of the most visited places here called Pokhara. Actually, it's the most visited more than Kathmandu, the capital city. And today I just want to show you some of the places that you can come and hang out, have a good time. And this place is so beautiful. So I thought, why not take you along if at all you ever find yourself here in Pokhara? Don't hesitate to visit such places. They are so amazing. So today we are here in um, this place. It's called Lily's Cafe, as you all see. And I'm not alone, I have a friend of mine here. Forza Palermo. That's how you say hello in Italiano. Uh, it's one of the ways. Uh -huh. Forza Palermo. Okay. So we're here, we just decided to stop by and have a snack. Okay, and uh, let's see how their food will look like. What did you order? Pizza. Pizza, Italiano pizza. Italiano pizza. So let's see how it will look like, but I really love this place. It's amazing, the view, the sunset, and... The lake is amazing. The lake is amazing, right? Yeah, just next to us. Yeah, just next to us. <laughs> it's so beautiful. What do you think about Nepal so far? I come from the south of Italy, so I think that there are a lot of connection between my place, that is Palermo actually, uh -huh. and Nepal. So a lot of times traveling around Nepal, I thought it's exactly the same like in my place, mm -hmm. but and otherwise on the other side it's uh, like isolated from the rest of the world. So it's a weird situation here. Yeah, and also I feel Nepalese people are more friendly here as we walk around. It's easy to walk around, good even to ask for lift. Nepalese good heart. Yeah, Nepalese people have good heart actually. That's very 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 true me too since when i came here i'm like wow they're so kind and they're always ready to come through in case you need any help so if you're thinking about coming to nepal number one it's also cheap and affordable yeah, absolutely. Most, yeah when it comes to accommodation it's very 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 nice like for me i pay ten dollars for where i stay and it's amazing the view the landscape it's amazing also moving around he he did what he rented a scooter yes so now we are moving around up and down and for like a full day it's two thousand you told me two thousand for two days one day and a half one day and a half plus, plus petrol but it's a little bit expensive it's almost two, one year yeah more than one year yeah so that's two thousand right two thousand for one day and a half yeah yeah so two thousand that's like twenty dollars so what i can say is if you're watching this video, you are thinking about coming to Nepal, it's affordable, number one. Number two, the people here have big hearts. They are good, generous people, and uh, you can always find beautiful places. The landscape is amazing. The food, we have continental restaurants. Too. You can eat there, anything you feel like eating, you know, and above all, the nightlife. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, yesterday we went to club and it was amazing, fantastic, it's nice, oh my god. So don't hesitate to come here. I think those are the basic, basic things you'll need while coming here. But above all, it's super affordable, you know. You can stay here as much as you want. If accommodation, you can pay $10, then I think you'll eat. You know? I paid $3 for accommodation. Very, very, very cheap one. Uh, <laughs> But it's good, it's good. There is still a bed, so it's good. <laughs> so he tells me he pays three dollars for accommodation. Yeah, but uh, don't expect too much. <laughs> so can you imagine three dollars for accommodation? What else do you need? Just tell me. You know, so it basically means you can survive ten dollars a day. Depending on because we said it's you're spending a lot of time money for everything but if you want to make like a minimum average so maybe making some public transport eating in local places you can even survive with less than ten dollars but it will be a little bit 
strong to take all the time common buses and eat in local food so less than ten dollars if you want to live like the cheap you can yeah so and still traveling yeah that's very very true so i think that's really basic and also if you want to visit places there's a lot of places to hang out you know around Thank here you so, much. so you Thank don't need you so to much. worry. You are the best. Oh, we have a pizza already. Goodbye. <laughs> it's so funny. He's <laughs> a very I'm funny guy. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, wash your hands then. So, Bye, people. I love you. Okay, so, <laughs> so guys, I was telling you, it's very 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 affordable to travel in nepal actually it's one of the cheapest countries i've ever visited in my entire life i cannot even compare nepal with my country kenya you know it's very 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 cheap affordable affordable is the best way to describe it and the landscape is just so breathtaking you guys as you've seen so i think that's really really basic and here they use nepalese rupees okay so a hundred nepalese rupees is like a uh, hundred is like a dollar, you know, that's the exchange rate, okay? So, welcome to Nepal. It's a beautiful country. So, I think that that is really basic on a travel guide to Pokhara. And I hope it's, it makes sense to you all if you want to visit this beautiful country, okay? So, time to eat. dig in. <laughs> time to eat. Time to eat. one day that I'm not eating. Ah, va bene, va benissimo, va benissimo, va benissimo. Non facciamo nessun commento sulla salsa, va benissimo. Va benissimo. Che cazzo. Don't waste any time. It's so funny. Vabbè, buon appetito, buon appetito. So, I think you're saying you're buon appetito, eh? Sì, buon appetito, buon appetito. Ooh. So, oof, this is the pizza. For me, guys, I'm not eating because I had just eaten uh, a while ago. So, this is how the pizza looked like. I hope you like it. Yeah, yeah I also ate a while ago, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. And the sunset. Eh, can you see what you're looking at there? Yeah. It's so beautiful. It's so breathtaking. Hmm? I'm tempted to have a bite because I'm like, you're like, oh, it's like it tastes so nice. <laughs> and for this pizza, it goes for like seven, six dollars, I can say. No, six. Yeah, six dollars. Yeah. Six dollars. And you can get this. So that's why I'm, I'm advising them to come to Pokhara. It's a beautiful place and Nepal is affordable. If you get to know the right places to eat. Okay. So guys, we're getting inside this beautiful restaurant. It's called Calm. Oof, I love how it looks. The view, the sunset, it's just something else. Oof, restaurants here in Pakora. Hmm, so beautiful. Lily's Cafe. It's so beautiful. The sun sets. This is so beautiful. So finally the sun is going down. It's looking so beautiful. And actually we finished eating our pizza and <laughs> it was amazing. Out of 10, what can you give it? 7 plus. 7 plus. <laughs> okay. But, for... but uh, I was generous because I was uh, very angry. Uh, uh, starved. I was starving. Uh -huh. I was hungry. Yeah, so it was so nice. We really enjoyed it. And uh, oh, for me, it's the sunset there. Wow, look at how Nepal is beautiful, you know. Oof. Look at that spot over there, just, just in front of the lake. Yeah, it's so beautiful. We can as well just go sit there. Let me just show them closer. Okay. So, you can as well just go and have a seat over there. And just look at the waters and also the sun as it goes down. It's amazing. Hmm. This is how Nepal looks like a very beautiful country. And this place is so popular. People just come to hang out here, as you all see. So it's amazing. I love it. Hmm? 
so guys we left the restaurant right there we decided to come to this beautiful place here because oh it's more of a chilling spot as you can see people there are having a good time and the water here wow this is lake pewa they call it lake pewa the sun has already set as you saw but all in all the view is incredible and oof, I can't get enough of this beautiful landscape. I love it honestly. More so on this side, it's something else. So yeah, that's it. Beautiful babies. <laughs> so so guys, I'm back home and uh, that's gonna mark the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate. In case you're new here, welcome. My name is D Mwango and don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about today's video and I hope you learned something about uh, traveling to Pakora, which is one of the most visited places here in Nepal, okay? But I can say it's a beautiful country generally with amazing people very friendly people anyway that's gonna be it for today for today and uh see you on my next video bye bye love you all